So to whom is Game Pass Core actually targeted? Here's the short version. It's kind of like the difference between Monopoly and Monopoly Jr. All right, everyone, I am sorry to say that Games with Gold will unfortunately no longer be a thing as of September 1 of this year. So if you didn't catch the news yet, Microsoft is actually doing away with Games with Gold, and this comes 22 years after the introduction of this feature. But fret not, because there is a replacement. It is going to be called Game Pass Core. If you didn't know, Microsoft has really been hyping Game Pass lately, and I talked about it in my last video that the price of Game Game Pass Ultimate was going up by a couple bucks. So let's look at Game Pass Core and see everything that it actually entails. We are looking at this on the Xbox website and it's labeled, like I said, Game Pass Core. This is coming September 14th. But more realistically, this is September 1st because as of September 1st, if you still have Xbox Live Gold, this will auto convert over to Game Pass Core. We'll scroll down a little bit and it's gonna give us a quick comparison between Xbox Live Gold and the Game Pass Core. So you can still play together online console multiplayer. You've got games library and here is the big difference between these two. Xbox Live Gold gave you two games a month and these games were always different as long as you downloaded them in the time period. You actually got to keep these games for as long as you had your subscription. The Game Pass Core gives 25 high quality games. You still get the member deals and discounts. You still get access to the weekly free play days and the price is identical. It's still 10 bucks a month. So pro you technically get more games with this Game Pass Core. And of course, the con about it is that you get 25 games that are already on Game Pass to play. So you get more games, but it's not quite the same. These games are gonna rotate where the games with gold would stay on your system and always playable. Let's take a gander at these here games. Microsoft has already announced that 25 games are going to be available on launch. So we've got things like Among Us, Dishonored, Doom, of course, Fable, Grounded, which is extremely popular, Fallout 4 and 76. Psychonauts 2, Ori and the Blind Forest, State of Decay 2, of course a couple select Halo options, Gears 5, and Elder Scrolls Tamriel Unlimited. Microsoft has said that these will change, but they're only going to change about once every three to four months. Supposedly they're going to be adding some new games every time it changes, but I would imagine that we'll see games leaving while the other ones come in. So a question that I got a lot of was, well what happens if I'm already a Games with Gold subscriber? And that question gets answered right down here below the game. Hey, if you guys like these videos, Videos and you find them helpful, consider hitting that little subscribe button down there. It really does help out the channel. Let's click on some learn more. If you already have Xbox Live Gold, you're not gonna change anything. You're actually not even able to change anything unless you upgrade. Right on here in the bottom, it says you'll be able to keep any game that you redeemed since you were a Games with Gold subscriber. So those games that you downloaded, they're not going away, thankfully. So here's the short version. Instead of getting two random games every month, you're getting 25 that are gonna cycle about every quarter. The cost is gonna stay exactly the same same. You're still going to be able to play online multiplayer and you're still going to be able to keep all those games with gold that you have previously downloaded. Of course, this is still a subscription based service, so you've got to maintain this subscription to keep these benefits. So here's all the plans that are available for Game Pass right now. You've got core, console, PC, and ultimate. It's only called Game Pass something now. We already went over core. Console is a little different. Game Pass console costs $11 a month. You get games on your console. There is no online multiplayer that you're getting. You're getting new game releases day one and of course the member deals and discounts. Game Pass console is meant for people that do not play online. It's meant for folk that just want to download their games like your RPGs or a lot of your single player adventure games. You're not going to play on a PC and you've got no interest in playing online. Speaking of PC, we've got hundreds of high quality games on PC, new games day one, member deal and discounts, and you get your EA Play membership as well. Game Pass PC is going to include online play, but that's standard for all PC games. And minus a little bit of game difference in selection, it's going to be the same features as your console. And of course, the last one here is Ultimate, which if you guys don't know about that, go back and watch the video that I did on Ultimate cost going up. And that breaks down everything cost wise and everything that you get. So to whom is Game Pass Core actually targeted? It's going to be targeted to folks that don't really care about having a ton of games to play, that want to play online occasionally, but that's not their main thing. And this is meant for people that buy their games and play their 
your games on disc. I would classify this as Baby Game Pass or Game Pass Junior. You're going to get the benefits of new games occasionally and you're still going to get the online play. And if you like the initial offering of these 25 games, I say for 10 bucks a month, Game Pass Junior might just be the right choice for you. It's kind of like the difference between Monopoly and Monopoly Junior. Overall, dollar for dollar, I believe the Game Pass Ultimate is the way to go. However, if you don't need all the games, this may be a perfect option for you at only 10 bucks a month. Well, this is definitely an end of an era and thank you Games with Gold and keeping us online for 22 years. And if there's a topic or something that you would like me to tackle in these videos, something that's on your mind for Xbox, leave me a comment down below and I will be happy to tackle those. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next video.